This is the final week of high school basketball's regular season. We begin tonight with a battle between a pair of top 10 teams in Cape and Mount Carmel and Wichita Northwest. Now the Grizz, they came out firing on senior night. Here's Jace Glasper with getting it in the corner and splashing home the triple. Capen, though, you know they would keep fighting. They're the number two ranked team in 5A for a reason. They're able to get it inside this time. Tegan Charles just wide open, easy bucket. But it's actually the Grizzlies who get the upset at home, 51-49 to finish their regular season with a 15-5 record. Staying in the City League, and it was senior night for the Wichita Heights Falcons. A lot of just stars on that senior team, including TJ Williams. There he is flying up for the two-handed slam. Now, Williams to Isaiah this time. He's going to drive into the paint, rolls that one in for two. Pioneers are going to find Samaj James on the baseline. He's able to hit that little jumper for two of their own. But Falcons pulling away. Chase Robinson able to bank that one in, plus the foul in heights. They end up getting the 17-point win. As for the girls, two seniors from the sixth rank Lady Falcons, they were recognized tonight. Now, Ania Harris, she's going to end up heading down the court, able to roll in that layup. Not a whole lot of pressure there from the defense. That would extend the lead for Heights. You guys are not going to believe the final score when I say it to you in a second. Then ball goes outside to Harris again. She switches home to three pioneers. Maya Coleman drives in, able to get that tough shot to bounce in. But this is not a typo, ladies and gentlemen. Heights, they get the win 71 to 7. Moving to the AVCTL and the seventh ranked Andover High Boys, they're at home against Salina Central. And we begin with the Trojans working it to the corner, finding Owen Allman alone for the three, and he's able to hit it. Salina Central, though, they're going to come right back and go down low. Thomas McClendon finishing through contact for the score and the foul. Andover High. Able to keep the hot shooting going. Here's Anthony Sullivan cannon that three to extend the lead. Trojans dominate Salinas Central en route to the 33-point win. As for the top-ranked Trojans girls team, well, we begin with a nice little Euro step from Salinas Central Sanina tri uh, triplet for the layup. This Andover High team, though, they're just so hard to stop on the offensive side of the ball. Here's Bella Budara. She's going to get on the baseline, drives in. Tough score, but she makes it look easy. And over high, not done yet. Alana Shetlar, she's able to get this one down in the post after some good ball movement from the offense. Just can't leave her that open. She gets the score. And over high shows why they're the best in 5A. They win by 22. Sticking with girls hoops, third ranked May South Mavericks. They're at home against campus. Mavs somehow get the pass inside here. You're going to see them be able to just work it right over the top of the defense for the score inside. Campus, they themselves, they're able to go inside right here for a score of their own, but it's one of two very lopsided games on the girls' side tonight for us. Mavs dominate. They are peaking at just the right time with playoffs right around the corner. But what about the top-ranked Mavericks boys' team? They were up against campus. This game was really close in their first matchup, but it was back and forth to begin this one as well. Tori Homan spotting up from way deep. Splash. Campus would respond, though. They have a deep three because got a really good player in Andrew Burton Jr. Going Division I for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. However, just felt like May South always had an answer, specifically Tori Homan. This time getting it down in the low post against Burton. Nice little turnaround jumper. May South, they end up cruising to the win by 36 points. They are still undefeated this season. They currently sit at 19-0. They have one game remaining. It's on Friday on the road against Salina South. All right, a lot of good games tonight. It, the playoffs are setting up to be really special this year. I really can't wait for us to get around to that. All right, we're ex excited to see those highlights, Zach. Thank you. We'll be right back.